there was the committee yourself and several rows deep of, of lobbyists. And um, I took a pretty big meeting that day uh, for having the indignity of suggesting that people wear name tags identifying their clients. I also had another bill that Senator Feldman mentioned to, uh, to require full disclosure of all expenses paid to lobby the state of New Mexico, which is a very important bill, but still an important bill. Uh, right now our disclosure on lobbying the state of New Mexico is very limited. And this was a bill that would have made it full disclosure and put it up on the Secretary of State website. Both bills got defeated unanimously. And we heard every, frankly, ridiculous reason in the book why those things couldn't happen. And I just thought to myself, if the public could see what I'm seeing right now, this would never stand. You know, they would never tolerate their state representatives voting against these common sense things. Um, and I tried to invite some media uh, to participate. They were following other issues. I think it's one of the representatives, Jonathan Jones, who worked on web casting. But uh, but anyway, that night I really felt we've got to get cameras in these committee rooms. It is critical. It is so important. So, needless to say, I was very honored on the shoulders of people like Representative Janice Arnold Jones and others that I was able to introduce the rule that finally made web casting mandatory in the State House of Representatives. Yeah. So I have to say, in closing, there is so much more to be done. We, we, we unfortunately, as was alluded to earlier, we only webcast these committees in real time. They're not archived. That makes it somewhat impractical for many members of the public and even legislators to watch these meetings when they're not at. It's time that we archive these meetings. Uh, it's time that we start uh, uh, webcasting and archiving our interim committee meetings. We need full disclosure on all influence uh, peddling that happens in the state. And, uh, and I don't mean that in a negative way. Everyone's entitled to an advocate, but we do need that information. Uh, and I'll tell you, we are going to have 15 to 20 percent of the New Mexico House of Representatives will be brand new. And I, I would feel that it would be very helpful for them when they see the over 500 registered lobbyists, if they have no idea who they are, that a name badge might also be helpful. So with that, thank you again so much for this award. I'm so honored.